Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and this here is my portable mini PC setup I have with a mini Sporum UM790 and it's powered by a CUK Tech 20 which I've talked about it in a separate video which you can refer to in the card above Now, on load, since I'm running the 3D Mark right now on load, you can see that this is probably gonna run it for about one hour, okay? Because it's drawing, it's drawing 70 watts. So yeah, it's drawing a lot of power since I'm basically just forcing it to, I'm running a benchmark. So I'm basically running it to the fullest, okay? So I was wondering to myself, what can I do if I want some more power, if I wanted to run it longer? So I went out looking for a power bank that has the same requirements that I had with this CUK Tech 20, which is that one, it must be able to provide enough power to the UMPC 790 Pro. The other thing is, can it work like, uh, uh, can it work by switching, by charging it midway during operation and not stop the power supply? And, well, I found this! Okay, so this here is the Ugreen 48,300 watt power bank. So it's a little monster of a power bank. Um, I mean, it's not really super portable anymore, but uh, basically it's a, it's a massive power bank. And uh, yeah, it, it, because of its size, it is able to deliver 300 watts combined of a USB-C PD output. So the first port for USB-C actually is an in-out of 140 watts. And then the, like, the next two are basically, they can deliver a maximum of 100 watts each. So if you use all three of them for output, you're supposedly able to get 300 watts at the same time, uh, which uh, I haven't actually tried because uh, I really don't have anything that goes that high, that many devices that go that high. Uh, so yeah, it's a very strong power bank. Nothing much to say about it other than that. So there's a nice cool little light bar here at the side. And the most important reason of getting this is, is other than the fact that it's a big fat power bank is that this supports USB PD 3.1. So supposedly that means that it has much greater uh, power delivery control and um, it's suppo that's supposed to just mean that it's a more stronger and better power supply. So uh, let's test that out. Okay, so here we are putting a load on it. So right now you can see that the, the battery is providing 83 watts into the, into the mini, oh, 100 watts. Okay, so I kind of understand why the Chuktek 20, uh, just now when I, right after I finished recording, it actually turned off. Because at high loads, because I remember I, dis I think I disabled the maximum power draw of the mini PC, it is drawing a lot of power. So the Chuktek 20 actually, actually failed once it crossed the extremely high threshold. But uh, yeah, so the Ugreen is definitely pumping out much more current, more stable. You can see that it was hitting like 100 watts. 100 watts, uh, yeah, so strong, st very strong uh, power bank. Okay, so the thing that I don't really like about the this uh, Ugreen is that it's, a, it's more of a nitpick, is that the, the Choktek 20's uh, display, I mean, this is a nice big display, but the only thing it displays is that it displays the power percentage, the battery, the power remaining in the battery, it doesn't display the actual time. 
So, I mean, yeah, you have to start dividing based on the draw and the power capacity to get the actual remaining time. Um, slight nitpick, but yeah, it, it, and if, if this display was an actual remaining time display, that would be great. So, in any case, yep, you can see that it's outputting a lot of current, 100 watts. That means, yeah, this thing is, it's actually stronger than the Choktek 20 for obvious reasons and it does seem to be stable at constant at providing constant high loads that the Choktek 20 is not able to achieve. Uh, but now for the most important test. So I have here a 100 watt, a 100 watt charger. I don't have a 200, I don't have a 140 watt charger. So this is a 100, 100 watt USB C charger. We're gonna just plug it in and see whether we can introduce charge and remove it without the battery cutting off. And when it's delivering such a high load at the same time. So I plugged it in, you can see, okay, it's starting to charge. So it's taking taking power at yeah it's almost getting up to hundred so that's actually pretty good you can see that the input is definitely near the hundred watt maximum for the charger and the output is still going strong did I see hundred and eleven just now okay. So obviously at, at this point, that means that it should be able to either stem the loss of power capacity from the battery, especially if it's also still charging the battery at the same time. So during my other tests with less powerful devices, I, it is able to bring the battery capacity up while providing power to the devices. At this point at 90 watts in and more or less 90 watts out, I mean, it might not run it infinitely long, but it will definitely prolong the use of the battery. So yeah, this is great. Uh, okay, so let's try pulling the power and see if it shuts off. Okay, great. It didn't turn off. That means this, uh, this U-Green power brick is Definitely, definitely suits the requirements of a high, the, the demands of a high power draw system, which, yeah, great. I mean, the main reason I got this was I probably won't you go around with this thing, but uh, it's, it would be good to have when I need it. And uh, also, when you buy the power bank, it also comes with a I guess this is about a one meter long uh, six m charge cable. They put it as six m charge cable in the box, so I'm gonna guess it should support the maximum hundred and forty watts for the uh, for the charge input. Okay, good little power bank. Uh, does everything it says on the box seems to perform adequately? I'm I'm still surprised it can actually deliver hundred. 100 and 100 watts to this thing without shutting it off. Okay, uh, does it does what it says on the box? Very good. Um, not too expensive. I mean, the Chuktek also has something like this. The, it's the Chuktek 30, but uh, it's much more expensive. I guess that's because it had comes with a Qi charger on top. So if all you want is just a big load of battery to go with your bang for your buck. This thing definitely sure looks like it delivers. Okay, this is Marauders. I will see you all in the next video.